Guadalajara is the second largest city in the country. It's located in the heart of Jalisco. Now, this place is often overlooked by travelers, but I really don't think it should be. Since we've arrived here, we've fallen in love with this city, and I've learned that there's so much to do here. After all, this is the birthplace of mariachi, tequila, santana, and birria. I think you guys are gonna like it here. Let's get started. Vamonos. Hey travelers, my name is Juliana and that's my husband Martin. We've been traveling around the world for four years and fitting it into our lives any way possible, whether that be volunteering in hostels, working on cruise ships, taking short weekend adventures, or living as expats working remotely. Our goal is to show you how to have unique and memorable trips no matter what your circumstances. We only have two nights in the city, so we cannot wait any time. Yes, that's for sure. We have a jam-packed full itinerary for you guys to make sure that you guys get the most of this city. Now, before we dive in though, I did want to remind you guys to make sure you like and comment on this video if you're enjoying our content. And of course, subscribe and turn on post notifications if you'd like to see more videos from us. We make videos all around Mexico and it's our goal to show you the beauty of Mexico. By interacting with this video, you're helping us to reach a larger audience. It's our goal to get 100,000 subscribers one day and just show the world how amazing Mexico is. And of course, if you have any questions or recommendations of what we should do next time we're in this city, leave them in the comments and we'll do our best to get back to you. All right, let's get started. First, let's talk accommodations. I personally love boutique hotels, so we decided to stay at Villa Gans, where old world elegance meets new world charm. I'll leave the hotel details in the description of this video, just in case you're interested in staying there. Nestled just a few blocks from Avenida Chapultepec, this beautiful restored mansion is just walking distance to many popular bars and restaurants. In celebration of our anniversary, we got the Susana San Juan Premium Suite, which offered a beautiful balcony view with a hammock, which we loved hanging out in. Martina and I always love staying at these smaller boutique hotels, especially ones like Villa Gans that take you back in time. Our room also had air conditioning and our own private Wi-Fi network, which made it great for the times that I needed to work. Their hotel staff was extremely helpful in providing information about what we could do in the surrounding area. The hospitality overall was outstanding and they're always willing to go out of their way to help us. I also love that breakfast was included each day of our stay. It was delicious. There's also this adorable cat on their property named Uva who is so friendly and even sat with me at breakfast one day. Their garden area is perfect for daydreaming about all the wonderful things you'll do during your stay, but enough daydreaming, it's time to go out and see the city. For breakfast, you have to try the famous carne and suhugo at Carne Garibaldi. This restaurant holds the record for fastest food service in the world. They have locations all over Guadalajara, but we went to the original location in Santare. We came right when they opened and just look at how fast they were able to serve us. I don't know if they'll be as fast because it's right. like they're just opening, but... Uh, wow, that is how long it took us, 55 seconds from when the moment we ordered to the moment we received our carne and suhugo. Not only are they fast, but their carne and suhugo dish is amazing. So simple, but flavorful. I was also a huge fan of their homemade horchata. Apparently they are also known for their refried beans with corn and you can even pick it up as a souvenir to bring home. After filling up, there's no better way to know the city than heading to the Centro Histórico, where you'll find several pedestrian-only walking paths, cathedrals, and cultural institutions. The Plaza de Armas is a great place to start. Although it's closed right now, you'll get a peek at the beautiful plaza and nearby cathedral. This is a great free activity to do, and you're also in a great spot to visit many of the renowned museums nearby. When you're done with that, it's time to celebrate one of Mexico's most beloved traditions, mariachi. It's believed that modern day mariachi music originated right here in Jalisco, so of course you need to hear some music. The Plaza de Mariachi is also in downtown Guadalajara and a perfect place to grab a drink and be serenaded to. One of the best places we visited during our time here was Sokol. We had come across it by accident, but fell in love with their message. Corn is an important part of Mexican heritage, but many people have only tried a few GMO varieties. The chef here was inspired to keep the traditions of his grandmother alive, who is portrayed in a mural in the restaurant's dining room. Every dish is based off of variations of Latin corn, and it's so flavorful. I've never had a tortilla this good. I ordered 
ordered the taco ceremonial masawa and Martin got the beef tongue. For dessert, we got the tamal colada de elote tierno. Incredible. The presentation and love they put in their food is truly a spectacle and I highly recommend visiting this restaurant. Another local favorite you have to try when you're here Tortas Ahogadas. We went to the renowned Tortas Ahogadas Don Jose, which has been named numerous times as the best torta ahogada in Guadalajara. Tortas Ahogadas literally means drowned sandwiches, and you'll know why as soon as you see one. These local specialties are typically made from a hard bread and chopped fried pork, and the sandwich is then completely drenched in a sauce that's made primarily from dried chili peppers. But don't worry, if you're afraid of spicy food, they can definitely make it without as much spice. After all that eating, it's time to get walking again. Head to the Mercado Libertad, which is actually the largest enclosed market in Mexico. You'll find everything here from leather to flowers and bootleg movies to a delicious and affordable meal. You could spend hours strolling around here and by all means, you can definitely haggle with the vendors. And last but not least, Avenida Chapultepec. Bars and clubs aren't really our scene, but this street is lined with places to go out at night. Why we like the area is for the food scene. Avenida Chapultepec and its side streets are a great area to get a good meal. Funny enough, we fell in love with an Italian restaurant called Osteria, which we weren't originally planning to show because we wanted to focus on more local cuisine. But when Martin, who previously lived in Italy, said that this pizza was one of the top five pizzas he's ever had, we knew we had to include it. We ate two entire pizzas that night and I'd gladly go back and do it again. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Now we know there is so much that we weren't able to fit into this video. There are so many more amazing restaurants, things to do, museums. Definitely there's a lot more we wanna do when things get better. I am really excited to come back to the city once again. Make sure you check out the rest of our videos in Mexico. I'll leave a playlist up above for you to check out after this video. And that's it. So long, travel well, and make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Did you know we have a Patreon? All our members get access to monthly income reports, exclusive podcasts, access to our private Facebook group, and even a copy of my ebook, Puerto Vallarta Like a Local. Business and first class patrons also get a postcard from us each month. Thanks so much for the support. Click the Patreon logo on the screen to join our family.